being court-martialed at the base, Pinson is accused of having sex with two female trainees. Tonight, officials say the case has not reached the jury. And some folks in our area get organized in a big fight with Walmart. Reports say a group of people who live in one part of Hoover have a new name now. The Concerned Citizens for the Future of Hoover have printed flyers to all city residents. They're against an idea to build a Walmart Supercenter on Highway 150 near Interstate 459. Schools all around the state are in desperate need of new facilities, but most school systems don't have the money to build. But as Bill McDaniel tells us from our Tuscaloosa newsroom, a partnership between private and public funds is paying off in a big way for Tuscaloosa County. Portables line the back of Tuscaloosa County High School. Inside, ceiling tiles are falling and windows are cracked. We've got to provide them a safe uh, environment in which to learn in. And uh, there's some things that just cannot be done uh, within that facility. Soon, students will be in this new $22 million facility, but it wouldn't be possible without private funds. A new county high school to replace the one built in 1926 was seen as the top priority for the school system and facilities. And when Sam Fawcett stepped up and said, I will make a million dollar gift to the school board if we can build a new county high, that's how the foundation was born. The Tuscaloosa County High School Foundation is raising six million dollars for the construction of this new school. It's the only project in the southeast where public and private funds are being used to build a high school. School officials say that's important for the success of the new school. And its ownership, that school is that community, and the sense of pride and tradition that exists and is carried to former graduates uh, and even students uh, who are uh, relatively new graduates. Graduates' donations have ranged from $20 to $1 million, and hopefully these funds will build a base for quality education in Tuscaloosa County. Bill McDaniel, NBC 13 News. And also, Bill tells us that tonight, Tuscaloosa County High School alumni W.W. Foots Clements will make a $250,000 donation to the new school. The U.S. buildup in the Persian Gulf continues today as time runs out for Saddam Hussein. And that tops our look at news from around the world at 5. Top U.S. officials warn a military strike is imminent if Hussein doesn't immediately permit weapons inspections to resume. President Clinton today gave a stern warning to the Iraqi leader. Saddam Hussein has it within its hands, within his hands, to end this crisis now by resuming full cooperation with UNSCOM. Though Saddam Hussein claims he wants uh, to uh, avoid any kind of a uh, bombing or an attack, meanwhile, Alabama troops are on alert. Twenty members of the 11th Chemical Company at Fort McClellan are on alert for possible deployment to the Persian Gulf. Some Fort McClellan soldiers are already in Kuwait at this hour. And victims of the 1996 Centennial Park bombing are in court today. They want a judge to agree with a lawsuit they filed against Olympic organizers. The lawsuit claims metal detectors and bag searches should have been in place at the park prior to the bombing. Meanwhile, the search continues for that bombing suspect and Birmingham Clinic bombing suspect Eric Robert Rudolph. He's been on the run since January. If you watch us first thing in the morning, you know I've been talking about rain for two days. And I guess we'll keep talking about it until it finally rains, but <laughs> not yet, at least not much anyway. But at least the clouds are here to get ready for that mm -hmm. rain. Jerry has our first forecast. It certainly does look like rain outside, Fran and Mike, and eventually it's going to come. We'll get some rain at times tomorrow and tomorrow night, hopefully ending by Sunday morning. In the meantime, a little bit tricky for this evening. On first alert Doppler radar, there's some rain out there, much of it from Selma and Demopolis through Linden on south, and another batch across the north. Not a whole lot in between. It may not be too bad for high school games this evening. Our first forecast, patchy light rain. I would go to the games being ready for the rain. Temperatures falling into the mid-50s. We'll look at that weekend in just a few minutes. Mike Fran. All right, Jerry, thank you. Well, it's one of the most well-known homes and historic homes in central Alabama. And tonight, some good news for a historic mansion and for the people who relive its past. That's ahead. It's one of the best ways for moms to be to have healthy babies. Now there's a push to get more women involved. That's coming up. Tired of that double chin? On the health beat, I'll show you a procedure that lets you get rid of it in about 20 minutes. We've got you covered next on NBC 13 News at 5. The door opens. The wind rushes over you. You jump and fall. Sound like fun? Join Giselle as she goes skydiving with a group of Alabamians out to break a record. Watch The Sky's the Limit tonight on NBC 13 News at 10.
Join NBC 13 and the Junior League of Birmingham for the Antiques and Garden Show November 13th through 15th at the BJCC. For more information, call 871-0840. Goodies Moonlight Madness Sale means extra hours Friday and Saturday. Walk this way and discover phenomenal savings in every department. It's store-wide savings madness. Plus, this Friday, save 10% of your entire purchase. Unbelievable. Doorbuster specials on Saturday. Extra hours, extra savings. It's Goodies Moonlight Madness Sale for savings gone mad. Friday and Saturday only at Goodies Family Clothing. For savings gone mad. Your family fun car. A 1998 Long Lewis Ford Taurus SE program car with goodies like factory air, automatic transmission, a MFM stereo cassette, electric windows, locks, mirrors, and more. Only $12,988. Yes, this summer we were selling new Tauruses like these for $18,000 while they last. This special group is only $12,988. And the only way your neighbors will know yours isn't brand spanking new is if you tell them. Long Lewis Ford, Alabama's largest Ford dealer, where buying or leasing is easy as one, two, three. I can't believe it. We are so happy. It just gave us credit. This weekend at Heilig Myers, you'll see a lot of happy faces because all furniture is on sale and no credit is refused. It's the weekend we open the doors a little wider, give everyone credit, and put all furniture on sale. I really do love this store. No credit refused weekend at Heilig Myers. It'll put a smile on your face and new furniture in your house. NBC 13 Closed Captioning is sponsored by Allegasco. You're watching NBC 13 News at 5. We've got you covered with Mike Royer, Fran Curry, First Alert Weather with Jerry Tracy, and Sports with Ken Lass. NBC 13 News at 5 continues. If you're looking to improve your appearance, there is an outpatient procedure that can have a dramatic ch change in how you look. Health Beat reporter Emily Stroud shows us how tumescent liposuction works. Wendy Neighbors gets ready for tumescent liposuction on her chin. She's on a diet and has already lost 17 pounds. I know that this area right here will not be uh, affected by just losing weight. The liposuction will take out what doesn't need to be there. Wendy is awake for the procedure, but she can't feel anything. Liposuction with the tumescent technique uses a lot of diluted anesthesia. See how it swells Wendy's chin? I think the key is the way the anesthetic is delivered over very slowly over a long period of time, and that provides for less bruising and bleeding and much, much less post-operative pain. Dr. Barry Ginsburg makes a few nicks on her chin and inserts small tubes. The fat cells are vacuumed out with very little bleeding. It takes about 20 minutes. Once those fat cells in the chin are gone, they shouldn't come back. Liposuction surgery makes a permanent change in the face. Wendy will wear this chin strap overnight and then off and on for a few days. Then Dr. Ginsburg checks her progress. She's got a teeny little bit of swelling here. Check out the before and after photos. Wendy is pleased with her new look. Thank you. Appreciate it. On the Health Beat, I'm Emily Stroud. This type of liposuction on the chin costs about $1,500. Having the procedure on other parts of the body costs more. Also on the Health Beat, a statewide effort to get more women to take folic acid. A recent study shows that three out of four women don't know how much folic acid can help prevent birth defects. So Alabama health officials are getting out the word that women should get more folic acid in foods like juices, broccoli, and bread. And also on the health beat, some medical experts are concerned not enough of you are getting vitamin C. Researchers say about one in three people lack the nutrient. Doctors say drinking orange juice is a great way to get the vitamin C that you need every day. It's a homecoming for one of Hollywood's golden boys. We'll show you the reception for Brad Pitt. Coming up in the star beat. So where's the rain? It's still coming. We'll take a late look at radars next. I'm Mike Moore. Coming up on NBC 13 News at 6. They scored all A's on their report card yesterday. Find out Wilkerson Middle School's secret for success. Plus, a new ruling could mean more take-home pay if you work in Birmingham. And what do plummeting home mortgages mean to apartment renters? Back in a moment. Dodge Ram was the first and is still the only full-size pickup to be ranked most appealing by J.D. Power & Associates. It was the first to offer a 10-cylinder engine, and it was the first quad cab. 
And now, for the first time, we're offering $1,000 back on the truck that changed the rules. But hurry, this is one first that won't last. $1,000 cash back on all new 98 Rams in stock. Renting a vehicle, get aboard the Acclaim Auto Rental Express. And enjoy one nice ride. Meetings, conventions, church trips, or vacations. Acclaim Auto Rental has three convenient locations to make renting your Chrysler, Plymouth, or Dodge daily rental easy. Cars, trucks, or a 15-passenger van from the largest fleet in Birmingham. All rentals have unlimited mileage and no extra charge for additional drivers. Acclaim for a day or acclaim for long-term rental. Clean, serviced vehicles and the very best personal service. Acclaim, your key to auto rental. We want a home of our own, but we don't have a big allowance. Here's how to get more home for your money. Come to Palm Harbor Village or Masterpiece Homes and own a new five-bedroom, three-bath home for just $3.99 a month. With the five-year protection plan. That's five bedrooms, three baths, just $3.99 a month. Wow, lots of space. <laughs> and there's room for the whole family. But only at Palm Harbor Village and Masterpiece Homes. Their looks are as powerful as the performance they deliver. They are Yukon and Suburban, GMC's full-size sport utilities for $19.99. The dominating size, the muscular stance, and the fine detailing of a luxurious interior. It'll make you feel like you have the power to go anywhere. Feel the power. Drive a Yukon or Suburban by GMC. Your GMC dealer now has special smart leaks or smart buy payments on Yukon or Suburban. So what are you waiting for? See your Central Alabama GMC dealers today. Join NBC 13 and the Junior League of Birmingham for the Antiques and Garden Show November 13th through 15th at the BJCC. For more information, call 871-0840. Now, NBC 13 First Alert Weather with Jerry Tracy. Hey, here's something good to do this weekend. If you have a chance, you might want to stop by the BJCC because NBC 13 and the Junior League are putting on the Antiques and Garden Show. It continues through Sunday. Some neat stuff you can see here that you might just not see anywhere else. This is the biggest fundraiser for the Junior League all year. It's done for today, but tomorrow it opens at 10, goes to 5, and noon to 5 on Sunday. Something fun to do this weekend. Weather-wise, it's not going to be the greatest of conditions outdoors. You know, we keep talking about this rain. You're probably thinking, when's it going to get here? The bulk of it is still back to the west, and frankly, the heaviest is along the Louisiana coast and may stay along the coast all weekend long. Still, I have to believe there's enough back here in Louisiana and Texas for us to get some of that, especially later tonight and tomorrow. On first alert, Doppler radar is still kind of tricky this evening. We're close in now in the area from Tuscaloosa along the interstate to Birmingham to Anniston. And frankly, folks, in this zone, very little rain is falling. A few little patches North Jefferson County around Warrior, for example. This is just ground clutter down to the south. So for high school games this evening, you certainly got to be ready for the rain. But hopefully there won't be that much. Most of it may wait until later tonight, then rain off and on during tomorrow. I think the back edge of the rain will get here sometime late tomorrow night or Sunday morning as we check across the country. It's moving along a little bit quicker today, this western system is. And that probably means most of the moisture visits us the first half of the weekend. We could even get a little bit of clearing come Sunday afternoon. Meantime, for Bamet, Mississippi State tomorrow, not so good. It's going to rain at times. Temperatures basically in the upper 50s. Same pretty much forecast for UAB with Middle Tennessee coming to town. Rain at times at Legion Field and kind of cool too. Mid 50s for temperatures. And finally for the Bulldogs coming to Auburn, occasional rain. Temperatures falling down to near 60 or so. It's possible none of this rain will be especially heavy at any of the games, but it's going to be damp outside nonetheless. Rain at times tonight, especially later on. Down to 52 for the low temperature. A cloudy day tomorrow with off and on rain. High temperature 57. On your five-day forecast, we're going to forecast a little better conditions for Sunday, especially in the afternoon. Maybe some clearing then. And frankly, next week looks nice. Kind of warm, too. Temperatures yeah. getting to near 70 Monday and Tuesday with partly sunny skies. So we're still kind of waiting in the delivery room for the rain, but it's still <laughs> coming. All right, Jerry. Thanks very much. Thanks sure. a lot. Well, I had the privilege to emcee a special event today. The Multiple Sclerosis no, Society held its annual luncheon and volunteer award ceremony at the club. Their goal, of course, conquering the crippling effects of that disease. Thanks to the MS Society for allowing me to emcee that special event. From our eastern region tonight, it could be a battle between freedom of speech and the freedom to be left alone. Some Alabama college students are angry that preachers are taking their sermons and religious message to their campus. This is happening at Jacksonville State University. Jay Sloining of our Aniston Newsroom joins us live with more on this story. Jay, good evening. 
Good evening, Mike. As you know, Alabama is located, of course, right here in the heart of the Bible Belt. And that means many people in this area don't seem to really mind mixing a little religion with school. But the big question tonight is, how much is too much?